Biomutant takes you to a post-post-apocalyptic world, and Apple releases the new Apple TV 4K. This is totally rated. The action RPG Biomutant has been finally released on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Originally announced back in 2017, Biomutant has been plagued by delays, but unfortunately, it hasn't benefited from being released in 2021. Here is Games Radar to explain. Every time you really try and enjoy a moment in Biomutant, it does its best to really frustrate you. Like the endless repetition of dialogue, side missions, and hidden areas. But yet, there are moments where the game's attention to detail are great, such as using the ice weapon to make enemies skid across the ground like an excerpt from a Ratchet and Clank adventure. It's such a shame because there is a great game in here. Biomutant's world and its characters are wonderful and brilliantly silly, but these elements clash against some of the more serious elements of the core story. The intensely formulated and repetitive moments distract from the brilliant ones that will have you nodding in approval or laughing at its bizarreness. And it all comes down to the fact it doesn't really know exactly what it wants to be. If you got Biomutant in a sale, you wouldn't be sad, but as a full price offering, it feels too confusing to easily recommend. Here's what PC Gamer thought of the action RPG. Biomutant is a boring game that survives on charm. It's tragic then that hollow progression and an incessant narrator suck out so much of the joy in Biomutant. Biomutant feels like it's going to be so much more, but in practice, it's an endless stream of new ideas that go nowhere and beautiful toxic landscapes with little offer except an excuse to use photo mode. But if you strip out the gangly, affable Muppets, all that's left is a broken open world RPG with little else to discover except another cheap riff on the same color matching puzzle plastered over a rotary phone or microwave or whatever. Games Radar saw the positive but cannot overlook its negatives, giving it 3 out of 5. PC Gamer did not find Biomutant enjoyable, giving it a 60 out of 100. Apple's 2021 version of the Apple TV 4K is out and there are plenty of tweaks to the original. On the outside, the new Apple TV 4K looks exactly like the first gen model. It's on the inside where everything's changed. It's got a new A12 chip that gives it more power for faster performance. And it now supports high frame rate HDR at 60 frames per second, so that videos play more smoothly and with even greater detail. The best part of the new Apple TV 4K is the new Siri remote. The old remote has a terrible touchpad that's far too sensitive, but the new remote has a great click pad that still supports touch and gestures, but has actual buttons. Tech Radar is quick to praise the new features, especially the new remote. The Apple TV 4K 2021 is a slick streaming device which can play 4K video in HDR and Dolby Vision and supports high frame rate HDR to make fast action and sports look smooth and clear. The revamped Siri remote is a pleasure to use and there are plenty of handy features such as multi-user support or the ability to tweak your TV's color balance automatically. There's no denying the Apple TV 4K 2021 is expensive, but it's more than just a way to watch movies and TV shows, as it doubles as a smart home hub too. Aside from the high price tag, Tech Radar and Tom's Guide give the new 2021 Apple TV 4K high marks, with both rating it a 4 out of 5. And that's it for this episode of Totally Rated. I'm AC Delco, and make sure to join us again next time for a snapshot of what's hot and what's not in tech and gaming.